Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse. Now guys, I'm so sorry. There was meant to be a video yesterday, but that got copyright striked, right? <laughs> so, I mean, pretty much it was just like, it was gonna be every single time that River appeared in the show, and obviously there are some episodes that he appears in pretty much every shot, so it was almost like an entire episode. So the entire video was like 37 minutes long, so I might re-upload it, just have it like two times speed so it'll just if you want to watch it in like normal version you'll have to like put it down to 0.5 speed i don't know we'll see if you guys want to see that video you can put it down in the comments if you want to i don't really care and also i just want to congratulate the winner of last month's art contest the art contest was was eclipsa in her butterfly form so in the traditional section the winner the number one winner was totally gymnastics in second place was sarah and in third was sonia so congratulations to you guys, and the winner of the digital one was Alpha X Minor. So link to Alpha X Minor and Totally Gymnastics are all down in the description. You got you should go check them out. They have cool like Alpha X Minor has a YouTube channel that you can go check out. He does like Fortnite and gaming videos on that. And Totally Gymnastics has an Instagram, so you can go check that out. Link is also down in the description. And also congratulations to Tasman for her video hitting 1,000 views. And it's actually at like 1,100 now, so congratulations. So there was no video yesterday, I've already gone through this, but you should go follow us on Twitter because you will know if there is no video. Like if you don't have a Discord, Discord is probably the number one place that you'll see announcements and stuff, but Twitter is number two. So go follow that if you want to be st if you want to stay up to date on all the new Twitter news stuff. <laughs> Also, one more exciting news, on Twitter yesterday, it is for right now, but it, it'll, be, it'll be two days ago when this video is out, hopefully, I mean I might change it due to what I'm about to say. So Disney XD tweeted out saying, when should we announce the mid-season premiere date for season 3 of Star vs. the Forces of Evil? Now this gets me really excited because I said tomorrow, Saturday, next week, or never. Now. I guarantee you that every single person said tomorrow, and we haven't seen anything yet. That was 21 hours ago, so I was I make I'm making this video a little bit later than I usually do, just because I wanted this video to actually be on that news stuff. So if tomorrow's video, if this actually ends up being in a couple days versus like tomorrow, which it's the eighth right now, so if this ends up being on the tenth, then you know why, because that other video is more important. Or tomorrow there'll just be a double upload, or today I guess. And yeah, double upload, so no video tomorrow, I guess, if that's true. So I know so many announcements and stuff, but let's get on with the video. So pretty much, I asked the Discord what they thought was going to happen in Bog Beast of Bogahaga. I think it's pronounced that way, I have no idea. And Total Eclipse of the Moon. Now these are all of the Discord's opinions, so I don't, I didn't come up with any of these. I might share some of my ideas with them, but... This is not my own idea, so in a future video there will be my ideas, and probably in another future video this will be like part one, there will probably be a part two, maybe a part three for people from the comments. So this is just the Discord one, and then in a future one it'll be like comments, and then in a future one it'll probably be mine. And depending on what we learn about it, I will make theories and stuff like like when we saw Marco Jr. and the Naysaya, actually the Naysaya wasn't confirmed, but that was like the biggest theory that we got out of that was Naysaya, and just, that's exciting. So if you haven't seen the Naysaya video, go watch that. So this first idea is from Darren Neefsey's Evil, or Eagle Builder Animation. At Monotone Man, which is me, I actually I just changed back to Aiden, but I was Monotone Man. I believe that the new episodes will play out much like the way Return to Muni slash Muni and Danza did. I believe that in the Bog Beast of Agahaga, the beast itself will be the monster that Moon orders the knights to get under control, and Star will butt heads with her mother to get fair monster treatment. Moon will remain her usual stubborn self, and Star will go to Eclipsa to vent out her frustrations. As a result, Eclipsa will decide to tell Star why she left Muni all those centuries ago. That's when Total Eclipse of the Moon will begin. That episode will take place 300 years ago in the past and show the events, or at least Eclipse's version of those events, as I'm still not convinced that she's good. That led up to Eclipse running off with her monster love, and maybe show a bit of baby Meteora, and when the Magikai Commission hunted Eclipse down. I have a feeling that this episode will have a huge impact on the plot, as it is the first episode to follow Monster Bash 
other than Stump Day, but Stump Day was just a fun holiday episode with shipping teases. <laughs> I love that. You know, actually, from when I've started to watch Miraculous Ladybug a little bit, I've started it, so I'm still on, like, season one. I've been busy this week, guys, all right? I spent seven hours on that video that got copyrighted and just stuff like that, so I, I, I've been busy. But from that, I've learned that I am really into ships. I, I, I mean, if you haven't been able to tell from, like, my countless shipping videos, I mean... I, I, I don't know, I just have a big thing with ships, alright? So, I'm a shipper, guys. <laughs> but yes, Eagle, I totally agree with this. I actually really want to see this now, because I do want to see Eclipse's past. I mean, at first I was thinking that it would have been something like Eclipse versus Moon or something, but I really hope that this is one of the outcomes that it could be. Now this next one is from Coco. At Monotone Man, I feel like the Bog Beast of Baga Haga... Okay, it's actually not... Wait, I don't know if you spelled that right. I don't, I, you know, it's too confusing for me. I'm just going to say Baga Haga Haga Haga, because it's funny to say. I feel like the Bog Beast of Baga Haga will do what Raid the Cave did. Raid the Cave was a continuation of the Bon Bon, the birthday clown, so it would follow up to star finding answers of the events that happened in Monster Bash. The name is a little odd to me. I believe that Total Eclipse of the Moon can either be two things. One, it could be an Eclipse of vs. Moon episode, I'm guessing maybe it could be Star either choosing Eclipse of Cider Moons, or it could be a flashback of Eclipsa and we learn if Eclipsa is truly evil or not. Personally, I don't think she is. Oh, guys, man, this is big because people either, like, it's there's no in-between. You're either Eclipse is evil or Eclipse is good. I mean, I, I feel like there, there might be an in-between. I think I'm in the in-between, actually, so... I'm the only exception, guys, all right? <laughs> no, just kidding. But pretty much, I really like the idea of Star choosing between Eclipse or Moon, because Total Eclipse of the Moon kind of foreshadows like Star is just putting Eclipse before Moon, such as an Eclipse. Now, I actually think that Bog Beast of the Bagahaga has something to do with Star and River, because on Darren Neefsey's Instagram, she posted a picture of that episode with Star and River. Now there's actually a couple things that this could be because I remembered something and the only reason why I remember it because it was of River and I had to watch all these River clips over again uh, because I had to make that episode that got copyrighted all that stuff that's gonna be all I talk about for the next month <laughs> but pretty much River said in one of the camping episodes that he taught Star how to camp and in this screenshot that Darren Nisi took it was of River and Star sleeping in sleeping bags. So this could be one of two things. It could either be a camping trip that they passed had, or a camping trip that they're having now. Now, I think a flashback would be pretty cool, but if what Eagle said was true, and Total Eclipse of the Moon is a flashback, then it doesn't make sense to have two flashbacks play at the same episode. So, I'm thinking it's gonna be part of the future, but with River and Star bonding or something, I'm not sure. Now, this next one is from Maddie Maddie. At Monotone Man. Well, I've posted my theory in hashtag Star vs. The Forces of Evil 1, which is a Discord channel. It has been refuted. Anyway, I'll post it again here. I know it's called Total Eclipse of the Moon, but paraphrasing, it's a Total Eclipse of the Moon, which is a lunar eclipse also called Blood Moon. But as I said, it's not valid. So it's an interesting idea, but this has been debunked as refuted said, pretty much. <laughs> But it's an interesting thought, and if it had something to do with a blood moon, then I would think that would be pretty interesting. Now this next one is from RayJ666. At Monotone Man, in the Bog Beast of Baga Haga, as I said before, they, River and Star, and possibly Marco since he's Star Squire, might be camping and taking a holiday in the forest of certain death. Maybe they will hunt down monsters. I know you said that monsters aren't monsters anymore, but I mean like monsters who can't talk and just want to kill. They suddenly find a b <laughs> they suddenly find the bog monster and fight it and Star may transform into her butterfly form so that she can defeat that monster and that's how they will discover her powers. So like they'll discover Star's butterfly form free transforming and Star might request to River to not tell Moon and I don't know maybe maybe he will maybe he won't we don't know. In Total Eclipse of the Moon, Moon might start getting more angry at Eclipsa when she finds out that she told Star about embracing her powers, Moon starts raging and will make Eclipsa lose her temper. But I don't think that they will fight, because Eclipsa will win easy, lol. If it isn't in the same timeline of part of the episode, 
Star might try to settle things down between them, and Marco wouldn't want to interfere with their problem. But he remembers that he is Star's appointed personal squire and should help her in most of her life, so she helps Star with Eclipse and Moon's argument. Thank you for your comment, Ray J. Now, I really like this idea too. This always happens. I always get really hooked on an idea, and it's like, oh, I want this to happen now. Like the soul, or not the soul bond theory, obviously, I like that. But the naysayer theory, that's a really amazing theory that I'm really in love with, so. <laughs> but I like the idea of Moon figuring out that Eclipsa told Star to embrace her powers, which Moon might not like. So that might mean that, that the queens naturally are taught not to embrace their full powers. And that's what Eclipsa did. She broke the rules. She was like, I'm embracing my full power. And maybe that's what everyone's so scared about Star. That she's just embracing her powers. And without Glossaric, he can't tell her what or what not to do. She could just do whatever she wants pretty much now, other than Moon. But she's already way powerful than Moon, in my opinion. I mean, she's way more powerful at her when Moon was her age. So... I mean, she might even be more powerful now than she was ever, I'm not entirely sure. And I know that made no sense at all, but... <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe we just discovered the big secret of Muni, that all queens aren't meant to unlock their true potential because it could lead to dark magic. Who knows, I don't know, it's just an idea that I came up with just now. Power of not scripting. <laughs> now this last one is from Star vs. The Forces of Evil underscore leaks. There's not that many today, but uh, you know, this filled up a good chunk of time, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> At Monotone Man, what I think might happen in the episode Bog Beast of Bagahaga is that Star and her dad, River, might go camping at this place called Bagahaga, and River ends up telling her the story of the beast, and when they are about to go to sleep, they hear a noise, and they try to find out what it is, and they're in the middle of the forest, and they see a giant creature, which is the Bog Beast. The second part of the episode, which is Eclipse of the Moon, it's actually totally Eclipse of the Moon, I think what might happen is that Eclipse finally has her trial, so she ends up being not evil, and they start to treat her better. Now here's the thing, guys. They're not just gonna not have an evil person, first of all. Either Eclipse is gonna be evil, or Toffee's gonna come back, or Meteor is the evil now. So, I don't know, maybe it's just Meteor and all that stuff. The other thing I was going to say is that I don't think that this will be Eclipse's trial. I think Eclipse's trial will be called Eclipse's trial or the trial or something like that. Something just like, mm, something that will actually tell you that it's the trial. And if you guys want trial predictions, I have a video on that. That was a pretty long time ago, so if you want another video like that, then you can comment that down below. But anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, you can leave a like and subscribe. Because we try to upload daily here at Cartoon Apocalypse, but some days it just doesn't happen. Haha, <laughs> YouTube copyrighting. <laughs> anyway, there are some updates being done to the channel that we're working on. Me, Tasman, and Spitzer have been talking about some stuff. So we will be trying to update the system, making that the videos aren't so much of a podcast, but more of a video. Because right now it's pretty much if they're like Discord comments, then they're just the Discord comments. And if not, then it's pretty much just a background of I'm talking about a certain part of an episode and that. So yeah, we're trying to revamp the channel, make it a little bit better, hopefully grow our channel a little bit more, make it a little bit more entertaining. But the one downside to that is that we might have to cut down daily uploads. Maybe it'll be every other day. I don't want to do that. I don't think I will end up doing that. But if push comes to shove, then that might happen. But hopefully not. Let's pray for the best. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow or the next day. Who knows? I, I don't even know. The past couple weeks have been just terrible. I've been busy and stuff like that. So yeah, obviously life comes first because I'm not even monetized yet. YouTube, get on that, please. No, just kidding. YouTube, you're great. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. So I can do whatever I... Go.